And Chanel revealed plans for an e-commerce platform next year. This comes as the company recently announced bold changes to its global price strategy. Media E explains why Chinese consumers are welcoming the news. Chanel announced that it will reduce prices of some products in China in order to narrow regional price differentials, which it says have widened considerably due to the recent depreciation of the euro. Some Chanel outlets in Shanghai already lowered their price last week, attracting long lines of happy shoppers. In its official statement, Chanel explained what caused the price differentials in the first place. These differentials, which exist for all exporting brands, are caused by exchange rate fluctuations and the methodology used to set prices, which include taxes, import duty and transport costs, and the economic environment, all of which are specific to each country. The prices in China came down an average of 20 percent. One industry analyst says the big price gaps indicated that import tariffs were not the main reason for China's previously high prices. In a closed market on an emerging market, luxury brands will deliberately raise their prices. And one interesting phenomenon with luxury brands in this market is that the more you charge, the more buyers you get. Recently, however, more and more Chinese citizens have flooded foreign tourist markets to buy luxury products at cheaper prices. Research institution Fortune Character says Chinese customers bought 47 percent of world's total luxury products in 2014, but that 76 percent of the purchases took place outside of China. If their stores in China continue to have low sales, so that they are nothing but ad and showcase for these brands, it will unbalance their global sales system. And in emerging markets like China, profit margins are much higher than Europe. So even though overall sales are on the rise, the profit rate is in fact going down. Zhou says another region for Chanel to narrow the regional price differences is to prepare for online sales channels, which require unified pricing. Following Chanel's move, other luxury brands, including Prada and Dior, have begun similar price adjustments in China as well. Mi Jiayi, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.